Hey, everybody, it's Lou. Uh, you know, people often ask me, can intelligent communities um, get dumb again or sort of lose their city IQ, as we call it? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they can. I think a case in point right now, anyway, is the city of Rochester, New York, uh, near my hometown where I grew up. Uh, they were a two-time uh, Smart 21 and, and really a, a great city, but they seem to have gotten dumb on one issue. Uh, they have about a 2,400% increase in auto thefts. Um, they are um, having cars stolen left and right. Grand uh, Larceny Auto is uh, just, you know, going through the roof. And one of the reasons is that uh, Kia and Hyundai cars in particular are evidently easy to hack. Um, there's even a TikTok challenge about stealing those cars. And... Um, that's deviant behavior enough in terms of sending a signal out about a community. But what's even dumber is that the city of Rochester is actually suing Kia and Hyundai because they made cars that were hackable and, and are getting stolen. So somehow it becomes the car manufacturer's fault for having cars stolen on the streets. Now, you can look at that in a lot of different ways. And I've been in arguments with people about this, um, but it means in one instance that technology can be a dividing force if not thought about uh, in a holistic way or rationally. But secondly, there's something called the Eighth Commandment, which says do not steal, which some people subscribe to. And there's just the issue of community trust. If a community cannot take care of the property of people, then I question whether suing the people who own the property or produce the property uh, is the right approach. Now, again, Rochester has achieved some great things as an intelligent community, but uh, I'm going to take away some points on that intelligence quotient today for this move. So maybe they should think about that.